let us look at uh, more specifics on uh, analytical expressions of things. Analytical expression, just like we did it for exponential growth. Let us take a quick look at what we have here. The underlying equation is ds by dt is s star minus s divided by the adjustment time. This is what we already have. Let us follow the same scheme that we did ds by s star minus s is equal to dt by a t integrating both sides 0 to t d s by s star minus s 0 to t d t by a t is a single variable which is minus logarithm of S star minus S of uh, um, that is make it tau zero to t is equal to um, that is t by a t. So here I have uh, logarithm of S star minus S of time zero or S star. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And t s star minus s star times zero by minus t by a t, which will be equivalent to s star minus s star times t divided by s star minus s star times zero e power minus t by a t, which means my S at time t is equal to S star plus S naught minus S star t e power minus t by a t. Again, these are linear systems, there is no nonlinearity, hence you can nicely solve it like this. Stock at time t is desired goal of this system, S star plus initial stock minus the goal d e power minus t by a t. So, e power minus x should be the expression because you can look at the curve that is happening. So, it is e power minus x. So, e power minus t by a t. Uh, so, given the desired given the goal as well as the initial stock we can compute what happens at time t uh, for order values. We need to know a t, we need to know s star and we need to know s naught. So, s star is the goal. S not is initial value, a t is your adjustment time, of course t is the total time limit right. So, one of the thing we saw was when adjustment time a t units passes then what happens? When time of a t passes Um, what do you get? S at t equal to a t will be s star plus s naught minus s star e power minus a t by a t, which is e power minus 1, uh, which gives s star plus s naught minus s star into 0.3678 e power minus 1. So, S set time t equal to a t will be S naught plus 0 0.632 times your S star minus S naught. As time unit of a t passes, uh, we adjust 63 percent of the discrepancy. Using our simulation since time step was 1, the resolution is not great. So, we took it about 60 to 65 percent, but if we reduce the time step, you can see that the 63 percent of discrepancy is about 63 percent of 
discrepancy is adjusted uh, for every time period at so discrepancy discrepancy adjusted every time period at right so what we mean is you have the graph like this this is your stock this is your time so if we call it 80 280 380 and you get it like like that stock is changing from across time 0 80 2 t 280 380 times etc so up to this will be 63 percent of s star here initial value of stock is 0 right so wherever it is reaching that is your s star is reaching at infinite time so that initial value is 0 so 63 percent discrepancy is fulfilled when 80 time period passes so at this point At time 280, 63% of S star minus S at time 80 is satisfied. So, every time unit 63% of the remaining discrepancy gets satisfied increment and so on until at 380 again it is 60. Again, some discrepancy gets satisfied, etc. It reaches your goal asymptotically. In the graph can come out very well, but it serves the purpose. The idea is 60 percent discrepancy adjusted for every time period 80. So, the remaining discrepancy. Now, in the last class, we saw an extra rate uh, level plot. We had the level on the x axis and rate on the y axis, and we saw that it was a, it has any positive slope g, then you will have exponential growth. So, this is a goal seeking system. So, you have a negative slope. So, when you ask me any negative slope system as example that shows here, here the equilibrium point is at 100 because 100 was the goal of the system. The goal defines the equilibrium point. So, any push on either direction will bring the system back to that same equilibrium point. That is how the system is going to go and uh, any again uh, depends on the slope, it will, it will affect the time at which it takes to um, reach the equilibrium and uh, that is f nothing but 1 over 80. Yeah, time cost adjustment time is 1 over f, time required to reduce 63 percent of discrepancy, smaller 80 corrects discrepancy faster, larger f corrects discrepancy faster. We will uh, stop here and next class we will look at uh, system compensation and there is other, how do you control when there is uncontrolled uh, variables in the system also.